What could this be? Oh my gosh. RIP bedroom AC. All right, so we broke cardinal rule number one of the RV universe, and now we're having to replace something. Full disclaimer, if you have thin skin, if you're easily offended, if curse words bother you, if you're generally oversensitive, you probably don't want to watch this one. All right. What happened was, This door is held by a lens and it works fantastically. What happens is when this is not latched and held in place, it has the ability to come sliding that away. To what? And this is what this is what happened to our micro air and I have not found the front side of the of the case to it it's in here somewhere but to micro air's credit one that thing all I did was hook it back up and because it's got the antenna on it Bluetooth it still works and you can see it just kicked AC on it alrighty so when that busted you know, we're, I don't know how in the world we went from Ure at 60, 70 degrees to Colorado Springs, Colorado. And it's hot. So when we found out this happened, you know. No offense to you guys who are in Texas suffering right now. It's not really hot. It's just hotter. It's hot enough to need two ACs. Okay. So I was concerned that we weren't going to be able to control this AC unit. So I immediately sent an email to uh, MicroAir. Now I did did this for two reasons. One, when they replaced our AC unit, we need another Easy Start because they cut the cable so short I couldn't reuse it. But really needed this so we could run both AC units. So. I placed the order, I took the order number, and I emailed support at Easy Start or MicroAir and said, hey guys, just so you know, we really need the second AC unit. If there's any way to expedite you know, the, the processing time for you guys to go pick the equipment and whatnot. Anyway, Kevin emailed me back. He said, hey, listen, we actually don't have one of those in stock. So what I've done is they got somebody on their production line to make us this unit right here and according to Kevin this has got the new user interface in it which is why we're doing the technical video on it because you've already seen us put both of these in but it's supposedly easy um, well it, not supposedly it is easy it won't take me two minutes to do it um, so I'm gonna hook this up and basically it's just the wires and the screws and then we're gonna look at the interface this is our technical support team right here. She doesn't particularly love being on camera, but she's probably going to fuss at me. Get her still. Get her. Get her. Shocked myself. Oh no. This one you should always, always turn things off. All right. So, first things first. Man, I hate that happen. Just 
buggered that all up. Well, it'll probably cover it up, right? This is why you take pictures of everything. I must have just scrolled right past it. Stella. What I did was I took a picture of the Dometic which is that right there. So the red is the 12 volt and these just push in. So that one goes in there. Then the ground is green. So you take the green one and see it's labeled right there. You just push it in. And then the common is that one. Go in there. And she's on. Now, all we have to do, there we go. All right, so. I'm just going to make sure Now, I'm going to take this one and I'm going to put it back in here Put this in here In case this happens again We will have a backup unit that we can use temporarily. Alright. I'm going to turn this off. So. Now the key... The key to setting the Wi-Fi and everything up... Is you have to have the app. And... I'm going to go to bedroom. Let's just add a device. 276. So this is the one we're going to add right here. Enter name. New bedroom. We're going to do OK. And it's added. So now we're going to go back to that guy there. Now it's already got that firmware. I'm going to modify the. You can't watch this. <clears throat> we'll watch Stella instead. Get her. <clears throat> You come up here with Dad. <laughs> you you be safe up here. Mom always messing with you. <laughs> so now it's rebooting because I've connected it to the wireless system. The very first thing is I'm going to tell it to check for updates. We're going to update. Okay. I 
right, so we'll turn this back on. And that's it. Took less than a couple minutes. Um, Y'all hang on, let me clean my mess up, but I do have some final thoughts on this that I want to pass on. Alright, so first thought, one, um, the level of customer service was amazing. Um, now, I did not tell MicroAir that, that we had a YouTube channel, I didn't leverage that one iota. I, as a matter of fact, we sent the email from our personal email address, just a Gmail. For them to have produced the unit, got it out the next day, then not only did they give us a, I think it's a $25 discount on the device for an existing customer, but when I had it shipped second day, they ate the cost of that, which was $64. The other thing that they did was, after we got to chit-chatting back and forth, <clears throat> I told them that we were gonna have to replace the the soft start and we're going to do an easy start simply because our thermostats have worked so well for us they sent us this unit um, and again they included it in, in the now we paid for it but they gave us a 25 percent discount i think it was 25 percent discount on this included it with the shipping of our our thermostat and supposedly they're going to send me a kit that I can attach to the wiring of our other one so that we can actually reuse it or give it away to somebody else. So, you know, I hope you stuck around this long because, you know, I, I want to say Micro Air has, has been just lights out with their customer service. And Kevin, if you do see this, thank you immensely. Um, this got here just in time as we're getting ready to, to pull out this we're going to do an installation video of the easy start compared to the soft start that we're running in our 13k depending upon how this one works we may replace the one in our 13k with one of these the reason we run these is when we boondock I hate to admit this to y'all, we run a generator the whole time because we can't be without power and air conditioning. And in order to run a 15 and a 13K AC unit on a 30 amp generator, you gotta have things that, that control the burst of those compressors spinning up. So we're probably not gonna do this maybe next week because we've gotta get ready to leave and head north. Thanks for watching. This one's done.